We also need to use the selection tool if we're interested in ever cutting, copying, or pasting something. So cut, copy, and paste, and delete are a huge uh, tool that you're going to be using over and over and over, but uh, it all starts with the selection tool. So let me just select just his ear by using my lasso tool on one part of that ear. And up here you'll find the cut, copy, and paste, and delete tools along with the undo and redo buttons. And this whole thing is basically the editing toolbar. And if for some reason you can't find it, go over to Toolbars, and then you'll find it under Edit. You'll see as I uncheck it, it disappears. Then I go over to Toolbars, go to Edit, and it reappears. So in order to cut something, first I need to select it, and then I go over to the scissors, and that's going to cut it. I just press that, and it disappears. But it hasn't vanished completely. It's still in the... Um, memory, the clipboard of the machine, so that I am able later on if I want to paste it. And you'll see that right now that's the only option available to me is this paste button. And I press it and it pastes it right back in place. And that's one of the really nice things about this tool is it will always paste it right back in place so that if you have to move something to a different drawing or a different layer, it will remain consistently in the same place. If I want to copy something, I will select that item and go over to here where you see two pieces of paper like it's been copied and you press that and it copies it. Nothing shows up right now because you haven't pasted it yet. So the next phase is that you want to paste whatever it was you copied. And in this case, since it's pasted right on top of the old version, it, it offsets it a little bit so that you can freely grab it because if it if it had pasted it directly over the old ear, we never would have been able to see it. 